Hey guys, so with Entaurus coming in just over a week, I kind of wanted to give a couple tips on preparing yourself for the release of Entaurus. So first thing first, this is not an actual guide that will come later. The guide will be coming on the day of release or shortly before, potentially shortly after, probably not. I plan to have that ready like the day before. I'm also planning to separate Ice Fury and like the Ascendance and Lightning Rod guide like I did before. So all that is going as normal. This is going to be something completely separated from the actual guides. So first thing first, this goes for everyone, every spec, every class, everyone. If you have not already spent your coins, this video is a little late, I was busy doing the whole streaming thing. If you have not already spent your coins this week, don't spend them unless you have more than three. You want to go, you want to end this week with at least three coins. Unless you have like Nether Disruptor coming up and get a free coin. I don't, know, I don't know how EU's doing with that. NA just got that, so you won't have that again. But uh, if you end this week with three coins, and next week you get another three coins, that'll be six, you'll be at the cap. But then the week after that is when Antorus releases. You will go in there, you will spend your coins, you will come back, and you will grab three more coins. So you will have a total of nine coins for Antorus to get as much tier and stuff as you possibly can. So I know this is a little bit late, you may have already spent your coins, coins. sorry about that, but if you, even if you already spent your coins, just start saving now, try, do your best to save all your coins, basically, I'm just, you want as many coins as you can going into Antorus, it's very important for preparing yourself and gearing and everything, because everyone's going to want all the trinkets, everyone's going to want all the tier, all that stuff, it's going to be very high competition but inside of your raid groups, so the more bonus rolls the better. My second tip is to be saving as much gear as you can right now. Anything that's within about 5 or 10 eye levels of what you currently have, even pieces on tier slots, you want to be saving because your stat priority could be changing when they do the tuning. You, you don't know exactly what's happening. Also, especially with the tier slot pieces, I don't know if there's a single spec that will not be going to tier 21. I know for a fact that LA Shamans, unless there's equal eye level, you will be going to tier 21, especially for single target. There might be some rare cases where you'll use tier 20, like on Pat or uh, not Patrick, like on uh, council fights or something. We'll go more into detail on that later. But for now, just assume you'll be using tier 20 on or tier 21 on everything. So you want to have off pieces prepared. So as you're doing the transition, like you want to have things ready. If you are if you don't have like the Suramar set, then you may want to have some high level shoulders or something like basically just be prepared to make the swap. You probably don't want to swap from tier 20 to tier 21 until you have four set of tier 21, unless your spec in particular has a very powerful tier 21 2 set and a very weak tier 24 set. But basically just be saving onto everything, hold on to all of all of your gear because you never know what's actually going to change going into Antorus. Third, very seemingly little known fact is that uh, 7.3.5 is not coming with Taurus most likely. Originally, that was the plan, but now they have announced that 7.3.5 will be releasing with a lot of additional content, and that content isn't even on the PTR yet, and Taurus is coming in about a week, so I would be extremely surprised if 7.3.5 just suddenly dropped and all this new content was here, and we didn't even get to test it. It would be so buggy, so much crashing. We haven't had any back background downloading or anything, so expect in Taurus just to release on that Tuesday, no actual patch, and then on the week of Mythic and Taurus for releasing, you can expect to get to get uh, some tuning changes on probably a hot fix or maybe like a one-hour maintenance or something. But don't expect 7.3.5. That is probably almost most definitely not coming anytime in the next couple weeks. So another thing that isn't super well known is that. The Mythic Plus Keystone Weekly Reward Chest will be increasing on December 5th, which is the week that Mythic and Taurus will be releasing. It will be increasing to a plus 15, as they usually do with raid releases. And if you do a plus 15 the week prior to December 5th, you will be getting the increased loot. So starting the week of Taurus release, you do want to be trying to do up to a 15 if you can to get the maximum reward from your chest. So now something for the Ellie Shamans in particular, if your guild is like mine and is requiring you to list the trinkets and tier pieces that you are desiring for the next tier, 
like a week in advance so they can set up loot counts and everything. I'm going to give you an idea of what you can probably or should probably put. So for the trinkets, I would definitely put Amon Thule's Vision and Norganon's Prowess. Those, I strongly believe, will be the best ones. But you can only put one at a time, so the second trinket, or Amethul's Visions will be the best one, of course. The second trinket would be the uh, Acrid Catalyst Injector. That is looking to be a very good trinket for all casters, so pretty much you're going to have to fight all the other casters for it. Uh, all the other trinkets I'm not really sure about, but I know that these three are probably going to be the best just from my own testing and from some early access sims I have seen. Uh, again, this is very, very possible it can change. I'm just saying that if you if you need to list something now, this is what you probably want to put down. And for tier pieces, as usual, gloves are very powerful. You may want to avoid putting that because you will not be able to use gloves and glove tier at the same time, of course. So for your for your four piece, you probably want to go with some combination of everything but the gloves. The uh, the most well itemized one being like the chest and stuff. If you want or are able to use the Zeramar set, you want to avoid the shoulders as well. But uh, looking at the stats here, these shoulders are... T I mean, they're not very well itemized, so I guess I would go with the the legs, the hand... Or not the legs, the hands? The legs, the uh, the head, the back, and the chest. It's basically the same thing as last time. No gloves and no shoulders. So that about sums up my couple tips that I have for now. More coming in the future, mostly in the terms of guides. But uh, as always, I'm kind of doing a lot on Twitch right now, so if you guys want to see some Intor stuff once it comes out, definitely check that out, especially if you're from EU and want to see some US stuff, since my guild tends to raid generally earlier than most US guilds do. I will be streaming as soon as we get into Intors. But anyways, guys, link in the description to that. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully it helped you out. If you liked the video, if you liked it, all the other stuff. And I will see you guys next time.